up, Star Gang? It's your boy, Young Asher, and today I'm with a, I'm doing another tier list. This time I'm doing Honey Pop, you know what I'm saying? I played the game recently. Um, I got the game, like, I think I got the game for Christmas, thanks to my friend Akafumi Yu. Shout out to you, my guy. You, my G. But um, right now, as you can see, I got a haircut too. Uh, I don't like it, but it is what it is. It's a change. Um, I'm gonna get my fade back, but you know, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Honey Pop Girls. And it's a tier list. I'm ranking up from S rank, which is best girl, to D rank, which is trash. Well, not trash, but just not my type, you know what I'm saying? So, if you hear something in the background that's probably like either my sisters that are uh, coming out of their room, or that's probably my PlayStation uh, 4, because I planned on recording something after this video. Um, by the time this goes up, the videos will probably, you know, already be up. So, um, so without further ado, without further ado, we get right into this tier list. Uh, first girl on the tier list, we have Akko. Now, in the game, Akko was like the uh, teacher. She was like the teacher of, I think, Tiffany, Audrey, and Nikki. I think if they are, but I don't know if they all are in college. But I know Tiffany's in college. Um, Aki, Akko was, she was, she was, she watched porn, like, a lot of porn, and, uh, yeah, but, uh, overall, her personality, it was, like, realistic, it was, like, she was supposed to be, like, the teacher, with kind of, like, a, a freaky side, you know what I'm saying, so, um, girlfriend-wise, she was... She was, she was, she was mid. She was mid. Uh, when it came to her, like her difficulty, like her person, like her personality overall, it was, it was great for what it was. It's just not what I was into, because you know I'm not trying to pipe no teacher, you know what I'm saying. But I'll put her in B because she wasn't bad. She wasn't bad at all, but she wasn't just top tier. Audrey. Now Audrey. For those who play a honey pop, bro, Audrey is like, eh, Audrey's like, oh my god. As Kiana would say, SHUT UP, BITCH! She's just, she's not, she's not, she's not my type of girl. She smokes, does this weird shit, and she, she's just not my girl. Uh, Billy. Now, Billy. Now, I have, I love Billy. I love Billy. Billy was cool as shit. Billy was a cute. Um, she was cute. She was into meditation, which is something I recently got into thanks to my uh, little sister, which I love it. Meditation, uh, spirituality, and stuff like that. That stuff is. That shit is awesome. But she. With Billy's character, she kind of, she kind of like second guesses herself. Like if she had more confidence within the choices that she made, and like if she decided as if, um, like she she second guesses herself. So I guess that's like the main problem with her. She second guesses herself a lot. And for some people that can be annoying, for me I didn't find it too annoying. It was just, I found it cute that she's like, she wants to be perfect, but she doesn't realize she's already perfect. You feel what I'm saying? So I'll put Billy in A, and plus Billy is kind of a, uh, Billy, Billy, Billy is a closet freak. I'm just, I'm just let y'all know that. Uh, Celeste. Now Celeste, Celeste, Celeste wasn't boring per se, but. This also goes with the spirit spirituality thing. Like, well, it really goes with like uh, astrology and stuff like that. Like, she will ask you questions about your solar system and uh, which it should be like some shit that everybody should know. But it's like I don't plan on being an astrologist, but I should already know this stuff. It's like some simple stuff. Like, she would also ask you like um, she was she was she was she wasn't she was. How could I put this? <laughs> Celeste was a difficult character. Like, you know, when you meet, like, she was, like, curious of anything. She was just curious around, like, the planet that she was on. Like, she's curious about Earth. 
you learn a little bit about her home planet. You really don't learn that much other than it's like wet, cold. She's a bounty hunter, which is kind of kind of lit. Um, other than that, she also has star shaped. Um, she also has a star shaped. I, I can't say it on YouTube, but she has star shaped. You know, she has star shaped hair. And my name's Astra. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna put her in B because again, she's just like Akko. She's not bad, but she's not she's not S tier or A tier. She's mid. She's mid. Jesse. Jesse's a porn star. Jesse's a porn star. She's like the girl, she's like the new generation of females that have OnlyFans. She's like, oh, for that, she's like Belle Delphine. She's like, yeah, she's like Belle Delphine. She's going to D tier. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save you for last because I have a lot to say about you. Q. Q is the little fairy guy who teaches you from the beginning of the game how to talk to girls. Blah blah blah. Whoopie, whoopie, whoop. She's she's not that bad of a character. Like I would put her I would put her in C, but she's like a high C going into B. But wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. She does give you a props, and then when you do get the, hmm, Q might be a difficult choice though. Q was just, Q would say some funny shit. Like she overall, her personality was funny. It was like you learn stuff about her home world where she's like, it's like, it's like, it's like a astrological world because she's not really there, but she's there. I'm put Q and C. Lola. Lola is high maintenance. For all those girls who say they high maintenance, you not high maintenance. If you at my job, because I work at M M McDonald's, uh, if you at my job saying you high maintenance and you working at McDonald's, bitch, you not high maintenance. You low maintenance. Well, you're not even low maintenance. You mid maintenance. You feel what I'm saying? Lola is high maintenance. Lola travels. Lola goes... From Lola could be in Connecticut one day. She could be in Miami the next, drinking martinis and shit. And if you can't live up with her lifestyle, I could probably live up with her lifestyle. But after a while, the, the traveling shit just gonna get old to me. Um, Lola's not bad. Her personality is the only thing that's that would kill me about her personality is the high maintenance shit. Like, not the high maintenance shit, but the traveling shit. Like, constantly being on the flight, constantly drinking coffee every damn day just to be ready. That, that stuff would kill me. But Lola's not that bad. Lola's not that bad. Lola would go in eight here. Because I could keep up with Lola. I could possibly keep up with Lola. Just going to put you in D because I, I don't deal with the furries. <laughs> no disrespect to furries. I just don't deal with the furries. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Actually... Let me get a tier list. Actually, no, 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 no. I can actually go off her. She does the whole anime Nico, Nico shit. Again, she's more interesting than Audrey. She's more interesting than Jesse. Because with Jesse, she's blown like 20 fucking guys at once. And I'm for those who are into that, no disrespect to you, no shame in y'all game, but I couldn't. Tiffany? Actually, yeah, we going out of order. Tiffany? Tiffany is, Tiffany's personality is just like, you know, like the, you know, the girl who goes to college, who does all her reports, you know what I'm saying, does everything on time, asks the teacher about her next assignment and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got no beef with that, I like Tiffany, Tiffany's a cute girl, she has like a lot of hate for her mom, which is Jesse right here, but other than that, Tiffany's just, Tiffany's okay, Tiffany's, Tiffany didn't bore me. Tiffany didn't do any shit that made me mad. Tiffany was just Tiffany. I respect it. Her personality was A1. It made you feel like you were dating a girl in college. 
So straight up, Tiffany going in B. Well, no, 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 Tiffany going in A. Tiffany going in A. Nikki did not like Nikki. The only thing I liked about Nikki was the gamer girl shit. She has less personality than Jesse, like straight up. The only thing cool about her was that she liked video games. You have to agree with everything she says or else you can't date her. And that ain't it. I thought going into this game, Nikki would be my favorite character. Nah, she wasn't. Now we have Venus. Venus was... Venus was just a relaxing ass character. She was just a chill ass character. She was just a chill ass character. She's a goddess. She talks about her world for like such and such, but all she did was relax. Her personality is just relaxing, taking a chill break, going to the going to the sauna a little bit, you know what I'm saying? She felt like no man was worthy of her time. I was worthy of her time because I got the panties. I got her panties. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> this is gonna sound so wrong out of context. Um, now, but yeah, she's going to see. She was, she's more interesting than all these. Girls. Actually, more, matter of fact, I'm putting her. Yeah, she's more interesting than Momo, Audrey, Jesse, and Nikki. Now, for the final girl. Now, this I didn't have to do much thinking about because when I played the game, this was the main girl I went to. Even when all they shit was done, you know what I'm saying? All they shit was done. Bellies was done, Lola's was done, Tiffany, Akko, Celeste, Q, Venus, Momo, Audrey, Jesse, Nikki. The main girl I kept going back to was Kiana. Now, Kiana has a special place in my heart, you know what I'm saying? She likes to do fitness. She likes to work out. She likes to be on the move. She's not afraid to get down and dirty, you know what I'm saying? She's a tomboy, but her character won't, like, her character in-game won't perceive her as a tomboy. You know what I'm saying? It won't, like, she wears girly clothes when she's a tomboy. Not like no tomboy who's just like, you know, what up, bitch ass motherfucker? No, 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 none of that, none of that, none of that. Like, tomboy as in, like, she's a cute tomboy, you know what I'm saying? And I fuck with her vibe, bro. She got a son named Philip. Now that might turn some niggas off because they don't want no girl with no son. They don't want to have kids. That's extra baggage. I don't care, bro. If you got kids, that mean that mean I can have the son I never had, bro. And if he likes me, that mean you gonna like me by association. You gonna like me even more because I'm good with your kid. She work. She works at a hair salon. She's trying to chase the bag for her son. She don't like Audrey. Me and her got something in common already. I don't like that. I don't like her. I don't like Audrey. I'm not gonna say Audrey's the worst girl. Nikki's the worst girl. Kiana, her, her personality, like, she does, she likes fitness. Whenever she asks me a question, I got every question was right. Every question was right. A chest size, double D. Her son, Philip, she loves him. If she not, if she's not at the hair salon, she's at the gym working out. She doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. Her weight is 118, you know what I'm saying? I know everything about her. So she's S tier. She's just a beautiful girl. And then she's a Latina. For all my Latina chicks out there, I ain't got no shame in y'all. Y'all ain't got no shame in y'all game. She got she got some nice ass. Every girl in this game has a nice ass, except Audrey and probably Momo. She got a nice ass, nice pair of boobs, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a trifecta. Great personality, nice ass, nice tits. I'm sold. This is the tier list. Thank you all for watching me waste y'all time for like 15 minutes probably. I've been young Astra. <laughs> but no, on the serious note, thank y'all all for watching. I really had fun making this tier list because it gave me a chance to look at all the personalities of the girls. Kiana is Bay, she is waifu of this game. And I can't wait for Honey Pop 2. Can't wait for Honey Pop 2 because she has a cousin in that game. I'm a pipe her cousin. I'm a pipe her cousin. Cue my outro.
Three bad bitches and they all so worthless. Step around they block, I can see that he nervous. That he feel them up like the beast with a thermos. I ride with a chop, but I'm never uncertain. This bitch give me top with every purchase. Gold on my body, I feel like a person. Bitch, I am a demon and you are a person.